You know, it's interesting. Um, I've learned in my research the actual term uh, political correctness was first used, um, I think, by uh, radical students in the 60s uh, in a very deliberate way when they would be talking about their ideas, they would say, someone would finish like what they were saying and they, they would ask, was that politically correct? Did I get everything right? Um, but then it took on this very different kind of meaning from like the 90s and on. And a lot of people, now I, I feel like it's a concept almost completely defined by people who don't like it. Uh, very few people say, I like political correctness. They might actually like what it means to them, but they don't use it. it. It's not a complimenting kind of thing. It's mostly used by people who hate the idea of it. And what they see political correctness as is being too sensitive, not sensitive enough, not kind and respectful enough, but uh, too, too sensitive to, har to insults that are unreasonable, or maybe that people didn't um, mean to engage in. I, I didn't mean to say something you didn't like. I didn't know that would bother you. And the idea that uh, people, uh, particularly on college campuses, are supposed to know everything that's going to bother everyone, even though everyone's different and people are subjectively triggered by different kinds of discussions. So the idea that we can't have, uh, again, people who use political correctness in this uh, way, to them it's the idea that I'm, I'm no longer, there's not, a, there's not an assumption of, of goodwill on my part. It's assumed that, um, that, that I should already know what's going to bother you and I shouldn't be allowed to say it. And it's, and it's formal versus informal rules of engagement. And, and a lot of people who are worried about political correctness feel correctly in some cases on campuses that they're actually being uh, forced uh, by the official policies uh, not to say things that are subjectively offensive to other people.